How's it going guys? Welcome back to Shop Former Garage. Today we are looking at this 2021 Kia Telluride that has a sunroof that's stuck open. And uh, this is kind of a common issue for Tellurides and uh, some Sorrentos. And I'll show you what's going on. Uh, I'll tell you first the deflector on the front where the sunroof comes down. It, it just breaks on the side. It's weak. It's something that Kia knows about and they've even come out with a a uh, update for replacing those the ones that break anyway uh, hopefully you get it before the customer forces the sunroof and then breaks something else in there so um let's uh let's check this out and i'll show you i'll show you what i'm talking about Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. I got the vehicle running here. Uh, let's open this up. And if you see right here, this piece, if you try and open the sunroof, it hits right there and it won't open. So the customer's trying to open it and they're saying it's stuck. Uh, at this point, if I try and close it more, it won't close anymore. It says that it's closed all the way. But, if you look right here, it is most definitely open. So, the vehicle does not know where the sunroof is. And that is, uh, that's a problem. Uh, because that means that the gear on the motor has spun on these springs. There's these springs that the thing uses as a, as a gearing system to push these tracks backwards and forward. And uh, if it skips on that, then it doesn't know where it is. It's automatically programmed in. Uh, when you do initialization, it tells the sunroof system what's closed and what's open. And so it's going to where it thinks it's closed, but it's not closed. So we need to reinitialize that. Um, and hopefully it'll relearn because sometimes they're stubborn. Sometimes it's like, no, I know where it's at, you know, and you don't know where it's at. I know where it's at. So this is where I'm going to stop and that's it. So uh, what we need to do is get the thing open by pushing this piece down. And then it's the same way on this side. So, um, because that's, that's where it's, it's broken. The deflector is sitting inside there. Once I get it open, I'll show you. But we need to get it open and then get that deflector out. And then let's see if we can reinitialize it. Because if we can't, then we're going to have to take this headliner down. And there's a way of tricking it into reinitializing. And basically, I'll tell you that right now. We pull this headliner down just a little bit, up, just up front right here. The motor sits right here. So take the motor off turn the vehicle on hit the button to tell it to close and the motor's just going to spin it's going to spin and spin and spin and it won't feel uh it coming to an end so then it, it it starts to get confused and it just keeps spinning for a while and then it finally stops and then it finally realizes hey i don't know where i'm at and then you can put it back on and you can reinitialize it uh, that has worked for me many times in the past Hopefully we don't have to do that. Hopefully we'll just take this deflector off, reinitialize it, find out that it's going to work fine. And then we have new parts for that deflector. And uh, if uh, it doesn't reinitialize or know where it's at, then we might as well pull the headliner down and see if we can reinitialize it. Because if we can't, then we're going to have to pull the entire headliner down and pull the entire sunroof uh, mechanism out and just replace it. So um, hopefully, Hopefully it works. Uh, let's uh, start opening this thing up and see what happens. Okay, this is what I'm looking at right here. This uh, piece right here, this is where it's broken. Here's the deflector. Get that out and of course that is supposed to go on right there like that and that's that's where it breaks that's where they're weak so we have a kit that will replace this piece right here and this end this 
just comes out just like that. So, and I need to get these out so that I can move it over and replace that part. But we need to see what else. And uh, a lot of times whenever these uh, get stuck like this, what'll happen is they'll, uh, they'll break other pieces. They'll break these pieces up in here. And uh, Kia has a kit where you can replace all these pieces that are under here, these gliders and stuff, uh, along with this too. And I'll show that to you. And it doesn't look like we're gonna need those. Uh, let me get over to the other side over there and take that off. And then we'll see if we can get this uh, thing initialized. Um, because um, if, um, my light's going crazy. Uh, if we can't initialize it, then we'll have to go to plan B. So uh, let me get that off over there and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, I got the deflector completely out here. Let me, uh, let me start the vehicle up. It just works better with the engine running. So let me close it and let's see if it closes all the way. So it's not closing completely right here. And if I put, try and push it close more, it doesn't do anything. So I'm hitting the button. So it's definitely confused. It will open though. So what we need to do is try and do the uh, reinitialization. And um, it's just something that, you know, Kia says to do whenever you uh, re disconnect the battery. Although uh, what I've found is these things are stubborn, you know, whenever they learn it, they're like, they learn it and then that's all they know. And they won't even take the initialization. They're like, no, I know where it is. So it's ridiculous. So uh, I need to uh, get into the uh, service information and find out for sure. Um, what uh which reinitialization because there are different reinitializations um depending on the vehicle that you're working on and sometimes i've found especially on these tellurides there's like two maybe three different reinitialization reinitialization uh processes uh just for the same vehicle um <laughs> and it's ridiculous and and so um, let me get into that and we'll figure out um, how we're going to do it and, and see if it works. Okay guys, uh, I have the initialization, how to initialize procedure right here. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's going to work. Uh, this is uh, what the procedure says. Uh, set the sunroof glass to the closed position. Then press and hold the close button on the sunroof switch for about 10 seconds. Um, take your hands off if you hear a click sound from the sunroof motor. So either 10 seconds or if you hear a click sound then you take your hands off. Then you push the close button on the switch again and hold the button until the sunroof is open then close one cycle. And uh, then you take your hands off the sunroof uh, switch and, and it's done. Um, once it's completely closed the initialization is completed. I don't think it's going to work um, because they want you to start with the sunroof completely closed and this sunroof is not completely closing it's still up in the back there and uh some sometimes uh the sunroofs they get confused whenever they close on something or, or something jolts it in a certain way it'll get confused and it'll stop working it'll go to a certain point where it may be open like about that much and then it will uh it'll stop and the customer's like it's stuck it won't close or whatever and you can bump the switch just a little by little and, and inch by inch it'll start closing and closing and closing and closing and closing once it gets all the way closed if you hit it again then it opens up you know to that much again you know so at least you can get it into that position when it's confused like that and try and do the initialization in this case it's not closing at all so it might not even start the initialization and that's usually uh, what it does it won't start the initialization and you mess with it forever and ever and then next thing you know you're taking the headliner down so uh, let's try it and uh, see what happens uh, so I'm gonna start the vehicle and I'm going to close see and it's closing on its own but it's not completely closing because we know that it's up in the back 
right there. So let's um, try this. So we're gonna hold uh, the switch for 10 seconds, or if I hear a little click or something, then I'll take it off, then I'll put my foot, my foot, I'll put my finger on the switch again and hold it until the sunroof uh, completely opens and then completely closes. And my guess is it's probably not gonna do anything. Hopefully it will, and then we'll be done with this. So uh, I'm going to push the switch 10 seconds. One, two, I heard something. I'll push it again. until it opens and then closes. And I don't think that worked. But I'm still gonna hold it for a little while. It doesn't say, tell you how long to hold it. Sometimes it takes a little while. It should have gone by now. Uh, some of the initialization procedures will tell you to hold the thing for like 30 seconds. Um, this one, I looked into two different procedures. This is a procedure for replacing the um, the motor assembly uh, for the sunroof and then I looked into another procedure which was uh, replacing the entire sunroof assembly and that one talked about a roller blind we don't have a roller blind here because we got this so uh, but the procedure should be the same so let's try it again I'm gonna push it one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take my finger off, push it again. I don't think it's gonna work. There's something else that we can try. And that is a capacitive discharge procedure. So what a capacitive discharge procedure is, is you disconnect the battery and you hook the positive and negative battery terminals together the cables, not the battery. <laughs> that would be bad, you'd be welding. So uh, hook the cables together for five, 10 seconds. And what it does is it discharges all the capacitors in the vehicle. And supposedly what it would do is um, erase the memory from this motor um, assembly. It's a motor module assembly. So, um, and then we can do the re initialization. So this is not working so let's try that and if that doesn't work then uh, I think we're gonna be pulling this headliner down so let's check it out okay let's get this battery disconnected and I'll show you how we do this capacitive discharge so disconnect the negative cable disconnect the positive cable Move them off so they're not touching the battery at all. And this is just a, a cable with uh, two alligator clips. So I'm going to hook this one to this cable right here. Make sure it does not touch the battery post. And then I'll hook, hook this one right here. And then we'll give that about five ten seconds or so and it should be uh, discharging all the capacitors and all of the modules in the vehicle so we basically have nothing going on now uh, if you were working on a Mazda Mazda recommends that you do not do this because uh, for them, uh, it could possibly short out something, and especially on IE loop Mazas. Um, those have a, a big capacitor in there and you will definitely be shorting across that. So you definitely don't want to do that. For Mazda, they say disconnect the battery and then hold your foot on the brake, you know, for a minute or so or something like that. Um, and the brake lamp or whatever will drain all of the power and all the capacitors and stuff. So. Uh, let me get this uh, put back together and then let's go check it out and see what happens. Okay, back again. So let me start this thing up. And see what happens. I push this thing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, hands off. 
Push it again. Seems like it's doing the same thing. Let's give it a little bit. Sometimes it takes up to 30 seconds for it to understand that you want to initialize it. And then um, it'll go into its reinitialization. <sighs> Something tells me it's not gonna work. And we are going to pull this headliner down up here and um, pull the motor off. Just, it's not really, it's not that bad. It's not that easy either. Definitely not, it's not easy. Um, trying to get this headliner down to pull that off without messing up the headliner. Yeah, this is not working. So, it will open all the way. And I don't know if it's binding in there or what's going on. It sounds like it's wanting to close, but it's not. I don't know if you can hear that. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to pull this eight pillar trim off. It probably has a clip in there that we need to replace. And um, of course, uh, the sun visor, this, yeah, there's a couple uh, screws in there that um, I need to get off and pull this thing off without breaking the clips. It's got clips up in here too. Pull this off, pull this clip off, pull this clip off, and probably this right here too. Just enough just to get this corner right here down. And once I get the corner down, and there's clips up in here, up in the... Um, to hold the headliner to the sunroof there's clips you got to just pull them down and hopefully you don't break them you know uh, and if we do then we got to replace them um, this is under warranty uh, just to let you know so uh, let me start uh, pulling all this apart and um, we'll get up in there to that um, to that motor and uh, see what we can see out so I got all this stuff out I got this thing hanging and the reason why I don't disconnect is because I'm gonna need that switch right there but if you look up in here there's the motor we got a screw right there <clears throat> let's see if I can see it there's one right here and then there's one way on the other side over there so I am going to try See if I can find my ratchet. I'm gonna use this air ratchet right here. This is the only thing I have that has power that I can try and get to this. And of course, this first one right here is gonna be the easiest one. And try not to lose the screw in there, long, long screws. So that's one. Let's get this other one over here. If I can hook up to it. And of course I dropped it. Oh man, I do have it. <laughs> Try not to lose it. Okay, so there it is. One more. I don't 
don't want to bend this headliner. And that's it. So, let me get this off. Oh. Let me get this off and I'll show you what that looks like up in there. All right, so these are the springs that I was talking about. See how they're springs, they go on either side and uh, they're really long. And this, let's see if I can show you this. Uh, what are we looking at here? I can't even turn the thing. Oh, come on. Now my light's starting to go out. Right there, that gear, those springs run along that gear. And that is what uh, pushes the, these, tra these uh, sliders along the track on both sides. So now that I got this out, my lights going out here but now that I got it out I'm going to um, try and push the door closed I might as well you know since there's should be nothing holding it, it should go all the way closed and then I'm going to uh, hit the switch right here hit the switch I'll turn the key on hit the switch let the motor run until it stops running and um, then we'll put it all back together and see if we can do the initial initialization so uh, let's Try and do that. Okay, bad news. Uh, I found out why the window or sunroof would not close. It turns out it's broken. So, and you're not gonna be able to see this, but right inside here, the end of that track right there is broken off. So that's why this thing can lift up and down and it won't move. I, I can't force it. I can grab it and try and pull it out, but that would, just possibly do more damage so I need to take this glass out and there's three like screws up in there I need to get those and then three more up in here so I'll get those I'll get the glass off I need to get the customers key for this I need to get this thing out of the way um, and so just in case those things are broken and this is what I was gonna show you before so I have these, these gliders right here. And um, this is the piece that's broken. It's probably part of these. These two things go to, it's, oh, it's a real pain. It is a real pain to put these things together. So um, I got one for each side. Here is the wind deflector that we took off of the vehicle. And of course, these are the wind deflector ends that have these. This includes this and this piece right here. So those will be put on there in the end. But now we're going to have to replace these. And um, <laughs> yeah, this is, these are pretty tough to do. So I'll show you that. Um, so let's, let me get that glass off there and we'll start tearing it apart. Okay, just to show you this, this piece has to come off. And in order to do that, you just grab it and kind of slide it forward a little bit. And once it gets to a certain spot, then it will just pop right out. It has these little areas like there, and then it has this little clip in the front. So set that aside. And then there's one of the screws, there's one up there, and they are tough to, to get, especially without dropping them. And uh, they're even tougher to put back on because once you put it back on, then you have to adjust the height of the, the actual glass itself so that it, it seals and it doesn't leak. Uh, it's gonna leak anyway, but you know, a minimal amount of leaking. Uh, so let me get this glass off and then we'll go from there. Okay, this is what I found. I got the uh, glass off here and 
if you see this, this has come off right here and it doesn't really look broken. It just looks like it's not far enough this way, you know, or if you see the one on the other side there, I don't know if you can see that it's all almost all the way to the end where this one has like about that much more to go. So what I'm going to try to do, and I went ahead and I put that motor back in because I didn't want these to get out of time or offset. Well, it's already offset. So what I can try and do is pull that motor back out, pull this thing so that it lines up the same area that that one does on the other side there, and then uh, put it back together, put the motor back on, and see, we should be able to run these right here without the glass on and see what happens. Of course, I need to move the glass out of the way because this is going to come up over there. And of course, the customer doesn't have the key to get this thing off. So we got to deal with this thing in the way. But uh, yeah, let me get the motor back off <laughs> and um, try and align this up. Okay, hopefully that thing is down enough that I can actually move it. Okay, uh, yeah, I see what's going on. This whole thing is moving. It has most definitely popped out of place. Okay, so. Oh, okay. So the problem is these let's see if i can do this without putting the whole camera sideways this thing i got it to move back into place but it's up above this and this thing moves with this so i need to figure out a way of getting this in there getting these apart is it's impossible without breaking them so uh, let's see if I can get this thing through here and uh, get it working again. So we'll see. Okay, I got it. I got it in there and I didn't do it by spreading this out. This piece right here, this piece right here and right there are meant to fit into that slot right there. So. And this whole thing right here slides. I was able to push this back. Of course, this piece right here was over here and this piece was over there. So this thing was kind of jammed. So probably in the way that it came out is how I put it in. And that's by kind of bending this back right here. I don't know if you can see that. I was bending it back to get this to pop into those, those slots right there. And, um, of course, when the glass is on here, it's holding this thing together, so it can't do that. All right, it's not supposed to do that, but it probably did. Um, so what I can do is I'll move this back as far as it goes and see how this thing is lined up. Oops, uh, looks like I sprung a leak. Yeah, that happens, uh, I'm getting... Okay, anyway, uh, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to line this up the exact same way that that one over there is lined up. Then I'll get the motor put back in. And uh, just so you can see, yeah, let me see if I can show this to you. All my lights are going. I need new lights because the batteries, they just don't last long. Uh, so I have the motor in. You can see it's in, but it's, it's, it's loose. On the top right there, you can see it's loose. So you don't have to pull the entire motor off. I just wanted to pull it off so I could show you how those springs are and how that gear is in there. But uh, you don't have to pull that whole motor off to get these things to slide separate. You know, it's as long as it comes down enough so that the gear pops down uh, enough so that it, it's not actually, uh, you know, making contact with those springs. And uh, so that's where it's sitting right now. So I'm gonna get these, um, 
these gliders in the right spot stick the thing back up there and I'm not gonna put the whole headliner on uh, because I'm hoping that it still has its own initialization and it knows exactly where it is and hopefully it's in the right spot then we don't have to do that but just in case it doesn't know then I'll pull the I'll, uh, uh, pull the motor back down and then we'll do what we were going to do in the beginning and that is just let the motor spin until it stops put it back on and then do the initialization like that uh, so that's why i'm not going to put the headliner back together until we get this sunroof in and initialized and working right so uh let me get those things lined up and let me get the motor back in and let's see what happens okay i got the motor put back in and i got these things lined up on both sides and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit this button and I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna try and close it. I'm gonna hit the button and see if I can close it. So, let's see what it does. Okay, it did, it went down. I'll bring it back up, open it. Close it. And it went all the way down just to bring the back up yep can i bring the oh <laughs> this switches it's just going everywhere We're trying to do it one hand so there it is it's working so that's great news that means that that thing's not broken I, it just came off track got it back in track um it's initialized so i don't have to worry about that um uh, yeah so i would say you know that i pulled this headliner down for nothing but i didn't because i needed to get that thing lined up they were definitely off track one side to the other now that everything's even so it's all working good um i just need to put the glass back on and then i'll make sure it works with the glass and then once that is fine then we can fix uh, the culprit which is basically the um uh, the air thingy thing to adjust the air damper thing that you know the pop thing on the front you know that that thing you know you know what i'm talking about and uh so then we can get it closed and get everything working make sure it's all working fine and then we'll put the headliner back up so let me get that glass back on there <laughs> okay just so you can see what i'm dealing with here hopefully you can see that you see that screw hole right there and then there's this adjustment. So once you get it in, you have to adjust this thing up and down. Trying to get this thing in here without dropping it down there is almost impossible, especially these ones that are in the corner over here. And uh, yeah, and these tracks, you know, on the inside, they were built in a razor blade factory. So, you know, I sprung a leak earlier and one thing that doesn't do well, and that is blood and headliners so you don't want to get blood on headliners it's almost impossible to get it out so uh yeah i got a couple more screws and then i'm going to get this uh thing adjusted so that um it seals properly and everything and then we'll, we'll move on from there all right i got that sunroof put up there and i got it adjusted so if you look down the edge here all around it's all pretty much flush yeah as good as it's gonna get so let me hit the open and there it goes that's as open as it gets let me close it oh I'm gonna hit the button all the way so there it goes all the way closed coming down right there completely closed so that's super good news we didn't have to do the initialization um the the motor is in um i just need to uh get um this whole sun or uh, uh, headliner put back on and uh then um wait let's let's get the um let me, let me open this back up
freaking fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get the, uh, that um, that air wind wind shoveler. Uh, let's get that put in. That, so let's put that together. All right, this is fairly easy. That little piece right there, we just need to push that in. Push that in and shove it that direction right there. Comes out just like that. Got this. Get this open. Should have two of them in here. There's one, you see how that thing connects right there? That's where it's supposed to be. You know, rather than broken off, that's the other side. So, there we go. Broken one, good one. So, <clears throat> this is just going to pop right on there. Just like that. And we'll do the same with this side. Push that in, push it over. Hopefully it moves. Come on, there it is. Just like that, and that one broke. <clears throat> Put the new one in. Pop it in, and that's good. And so there we are. There we, we can do it without breaking things here. So that's it. So let's get this in there. Okay, we'll start on this side since my stool's over here. Although it doesn't really matter too much in this vehicle, this this one, and you probably can't see it, is pretty dirty. Um, uh, it's not that bad. But I mean, you have to shove your foot into this right here to almost sit on top of that in order to get to those screws that are up there. It's, uh, yeah, you gotta get used to sitting on the center console. <laughs> so you get this up here and these pieces are gonna go right to right there, right there. And I gotta fit the other one on the other side. And then just let it hang down. That's how that thing is gonna sit, just like that. But I need to, and of course my light is going out again. How can I set this? It's not falling over. These screws, I found out you don't wanna lose them because you can't find any screws that are like them. Um, so let me get this thing set up. Okay, so this piece sits down into there. I don't know if you can see it. I can barely see it. Get the screw that you'll never find again if you lose it. Well, let me, uh, let me stick the screw in first. Get in there. No, you can't see this. I can't see what I'm doing either. So I got the screw started. And I'm just gonna tighten that thing down. There, I'm supposed to keep it from coming up too far. So let's do the other side. Okay, um, you probably can't see this one either. But uh, put the screw in there. Push the thing down. Get the screw started. Find the spot. Get it in there. There. That is what it's supposed to look like. So let's see. Let's see if it'll close there it is it's closing it's pushing it down and it closed and it's open right back up okay so sometimes if the thing's off a little bit or whatever it'll it'll be weak it'll be 
taking too much of the motor's power just to move the thing so then when it gets into this air deflector it'll stop and it'll back up you know so uh, that's not the case now everything's perfect so I just need to put all this um, headliner stuff back together and then we'll be done okay one thing I wanted to show you first these a pillar trim clips the top clips that go in here on the very top uh, this is a piece that I pulled out of there right and as you can see I had to cut it off uh, they are tethered on so that these trim pieces and that one right there if this airbag were to explode that trim piece won't go flying off and hit you in the face or hit you in the head because it's going to definitely it hurt somebody so the idea is it'll pop out but not come off so in order to get it off I had to cut it so that is the way you do those and here is the new clip there is the part number right there and I'll show you how this works put that aside has this these little pieces right here you gotta push them in come on get in there push them into a point and you can pop this out it's hard to hold this and do this at the same time okay you pop that out it says left hand and then this clip slides out like that and that's the rest of it right there um, okay get that out of the bag um, all right so this piece goes into the a pillar and this white piece goes into the to the uh, trim here so this is just going to slide it's going to slide slide okay slide right on just like that and then get the other piece stick that back on there pop it in and there it is the clip is ready to go on so now we can stick this in and pop it on but I'm not ready to do that yet. I need to get all this other stuff put together. So let me get all this put together and uh, then we'll be done finally. All right, guys, that is pretty much it. We got everything put together. Got the inside at least of the sunroof glass <laughs> cleaned up with all my fingerprints and stuff. And uh, it's working good. So uh, that's about it. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the sunroof and wind deflector. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. And uh, I, I, coming up next, my next video, I am going to be replacing a turbocharger on a CX-9, Mazda CX-9. So stick around for that. Um, as always, I appreciate the heck out of each and every one of you. And I will see you in the next one.